our desperate court battle to stop hospital turning off our baby's life support, doctors say boy with rare genetic illness should be allowed to die but his parents believe one million pounds treatment in the U.S. could save him. He parents of a desperately ill baby will today beg the high court to keep him alive, as doctors say it would be better to let him die. Seven-month-old Charlie Gard suffers from a genetic condition so rare he is believed to be only the 16th person diagnosed with it in the world. His heartbroken mother and father are now in a race against time to raise money for Charlie, their only child, to receive pioneering treatment in the United States. And they were devastated when his doctors in Britain said his life support should be withdrawn so he could die with dignity. Now the court will decide Charlie's fate with an initial hearing taking place in London today. Last night his mother Connie Yates, 31, said, We love our child with every ounce of our being and we want what's best for him. It's as if Charlie is being sentenced to death. Charlie has a form of mitochondrial disease, a debilitating condition which saps energy from the body's organs and muscles. Great Ormond Street Hospital in London, where Charlie is in intensive care is asking the High Court to sanction withdrawing his life support. A hospital spokesman told the Mail, Charlie has a very rare and complex disease, for which there is no accepted cure. We have tried to strengthen Charlie and give him the best possible chance of survival. But his condition has continued to deteriorate and we now feel we have exhausted all available proven treatment options. We appreciate how hugely distressing this is for his family and we continue to support them in every way we can, while advocating, what we believe, is best for Charlie. Charlie was born on August 4 last year, weighing a healthy 8 pounds 3 ounces. But instead of developing normally he got weaker, and aged 8 weeks he was admitted to hospital. Miss Yates, a carer for young adults with learning difficulties, and her partner Chris Gard, 32, a postman have kept a bedside vigil. Mitochondrial disease affects the body's cells and can cause heart, liver, kidney, breathing, sight and hearing problems. Charlie is in a stable condition and not believed to be in any pain, his parents say, with the disease manifesting itself as weakness in his muscles. He is being kept alive with a ventilator to aid his breathing and a nasal tube for food and water. Mitochondria are often described as the tiny power stations of our bodies, supplying the energy cells needs to function. If cells do not have enough energy, then the body's organs and tissue do not work properly. Approximately 1 in 200 babies born in the UK have slight genetic mistakes that can cause mitochondrial disease, although severity varies and symptoms may not be noticed at all. Charlie has a particularly rare type known as mitochondrial depletion syndrome. There is no known cure, but Charlie's parents have found a U.S. doctor trialing a pioneering treatment. They are trying to raise money to take their son abroad, a huge cost, as he would need a private plane with pediatric intensive care facilities and staff. Miss Yates said, Charlie literally has nothing to lose but potentially a healthier, happier life to gain. So we were shocked and horrified to find we are being taken to court and them asking for Charlie's life support to be switched off. To donate to Charlie's appeal, visit www.gofund.com weblink. Weblink.